All right, y'all. You already know all things sports and entertainment. And we can completely disagree, but let's get this conversation started. So, Ronnie James recently had a game uh, a couple of nights ago against the Milwaukee Bucks. Shout out to the Mill, 414. And he went for zero points. He went 0 from 4 from the field, 0 from 2 from the 3. Yesterday, I don't think he had any blocks or anything like that. And, um... Of course, social media went on fire again, and um, Kwame Brown did a video on it, criticizing LeBron. I've seen a video from Carcino saying that he's hearing reports now that the Lakers have excused Bronny from talking to the media. And then I seen Stephen A. Smith say, you know, uh, he don't have a problem with it. We need to chill out and give him time. And of course, I got people telling me that I'm hating on Bronny. So again, let me let me get my honest thoughts. And le let me start out with this ag again. I have no problem with nepotism. I have kids. You know, you don't think I've, I've made phone calls and, and you know, use my networking down here in Atlanta? Absolutely. But here's the thing, right? You can't, as a parent, you can't send your kids out to the wolves and they not even ready. They not even ready. And when it comes to Bronny, I think Bronny does have the potential to be the NBA player, but it wasn't this year. And y'all can't be mad because people are criticizing a professional millionaire athlete he's no longer in college he's no longer in high school and even with me i held back videos going hard on him in college but he's a professional athlete now he makes millions of dollars to play a sport and i don't want to hear nothing about oh well you hating on him no 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 most people don't want to see this young man fail but the problem is everybody can everybody except for the corporate media for whatever reason can see that the young man just isn't ready yet and then like i said what lebron fails to realize is when you said what you said that Bronny better than half the league as a high schooler that's gonna come with criticism the same way when lavar ball said that um lonzo was better than steph curry at ucla that came with criticism and these athletes man a lot of these athletes they're so spoiled and pampered that they want us to praise them you know, so like, you want me to buy your jersey? You want me to buy your kids, my kids, your jersey? You want me to pay for the NBA League Pass to watch all your games? You want me to pay for um any type of apparel you got? You do all these endorsements? You want me to support all of that? But when I critique you, I'm a hater. When your son gets critiqued, who is a professional athlete on the same team, I'm a hater. Mike Piazza, right, Hall of Famer in baseball. His dad, you use some, you know handshaking deals to to get him in but mike piazza is a hall of famer and the list goes on and on joe buck look at joe buck his dad plugged him but joe buck will probably be a hall of fame sports announcer Nepo, uh what was his name jeremy Schaff, the reporter from espn his dad um helped him out y'all remember i don't know if y'all some of y'all probably don't remember jeremy Schaff. i remember him mainly from the sports reporters back in the early 2000s late 90s early 2000s it happens all the time but the problem is Bronny just looks like a complete fish out of water and even magic johnson who's a hall of famer and one the greatest point guard of all time said that he feels like Bronny is not ready yet and he should be in the g league the problem is you got him playing a, a, against the nba not the G League. And then he just standing around like he don't know what to do. And he's been doing that since he play, started being playing for the Lakers. Now, I've made I've made several videos talking about I understand why he was drafted. And, you know, everybody about to make money off of it. But also, the flip side is you're going to be critiqued if your play is trash. And, that, and at this moment, at this moment, Bronny has been playing trash. He has. I'm sorry. Now, can he change it around? Yeah, but we're going to really see. And I really hope, Brian, while you was telling your son to become a professional basketball player, we're going to play together. I really, really, really hope you was teaching him the mental aspect, the Tom Brady aspect, the Kobe Kobe Bryant aspect. Because if Brian don't have that meant this, if he don't have the mental toughness, man, he finna break this year. We're going to see this on the world stage. So I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Oh, and one more thing, man, I'm telling y'all right now, if they don't let him do no interviews i'm not gonna stop dropping videos because i don't want to see no millionaire athlete scared to do interviews man no forget all that you got drafted you posted it online and y'all did y'all want to do all these father son interviews when uh before the preseason start because you think it's cool and uh, okay well real toughness shows if you can go up there at that podium when you playing bad when you playing like complete trash out there and you can take those questions and keep going back and forth that shows true toughness so no nah, no nah, i'm not gonna 
I'm not gonna let these people get away with it. So I just wanna get my quick thoughts about it. Tell me what y'all think.